हाय नेटवर्क एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन और नेट इज यूज्ड टू चेंज द आईपी एड्रेस ऑफ अ पैकेट व्हिच ऑपरेट्स एट नेटवर्क लेयर दैट इज लेयर थ्री ऑफ ओएसआई मॉडल और इट इज आल्सो यूज्ड टू चेंज द टीसीपी और यूडीपी पोर्ट व्हिच ऑपरेट्स एट ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर दैट इज लेयर फोर ऑफ ओ मॉडल now net provides two kind of services first is the security by hiding the internal uh, ip address of a machine and replacing it with an other ip address or cost effectiveness by mapping multiple internal ip address or multiple private ip address to a single public ip address now internet protocol security or ipsec is used to provide traffic encryption between two points so ipsec operates at layer 3 of osi model and it encrypts all the data till uh, starting from layer 3 that is the network layer uh, till layer 7 that is the application layer now if there is any change uh, in the data after performing ipsec in between these two points then Uh, this change would be detected by the other partner of ipsec and the ipsec packet would get discarded therefore net uh, is incompatible with ipsec since net changes the ip address of a packet in order uh, to use the net over ipsec we have to use net traversal so in this video i will uh, discuss uh, the entire flow of using net traversal over ipsec now these are two sides each uh, with a machine and a firewall now the network between these uh, two sides is internet therefore it is an untrusted network and we have to establish a in uh, ipsec vpn between uh, these two sides and secondly the host a is using the private ip therefore we have to also perform net therefore we have to use uh, the net traversal over ipsec now in order to establish end to end tunnel between these two host we have to use the ipsec in transport mode so uh, the encapsulating security payload or esp header would be inserted in ip packet so this is the ip payload uh, which is the data for starting from layer 4 till layer 7 that is the transport layer till application layer and this is the ip header which operates at uh, layer uh, 3 of osi model so esp header would be inserted uh, before ip payload and it would encrypt all the ip payload excluding uh, the layer 3 data that is the ip header so it would not do anything with the ip header it would only encrypt the ip payload now this uh, ipsec uh, packet uh, would once reach the firewall a then uh, the fire firewall a would perform the net traversal by inserting a udp wrapper over uh, this e esp header so this udp wrapper would be unencrypted therefore it can be changed by the uh, net device so there won't be any change in the uh, primary ip payload data only the udp wrapper would get changed so this udp wrapper would use the udp port 400 uh, 4500 which would indicate uh, the other firewall that uh, this ip packet or ipsec packet is using the udp wrapper for net purposes so the other firewall once the ipsec packet would reach the other firewall the other firewall would unwrap this udp wrapper and then it would process uh, the ipsec packet to host a host b now we can also establish an other ipsec vpn in tunnel mode uh, which would tunnel the transport uh, mode vpn inside it so by doing the, that we will insert an authentication header before ip header so this authentication header uh, would 
uh, also encrypt the IP header. So it would provide authentication to the IP header. It would not provide uh, encryption, but it would only provide authentication. So if there is any change in the IP header data, then this pip change would get detected. So since the firewall A and firewall B are establishing this uh, tunnel uh, VPN to tunnel the transport layer VPN inside it, therefore each firewall uh, would know that they are also using the NAT uh, traversal. So this was all uh, from my side. Please stay connected. Thank you.